their anger towards you is so much unspeakable. This is so unbelievable. You have stepped on their tail and now, oh my God. Hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's video. Their anger is so unbelievable. Let me tell you something that I know. I'm not telling you something that I'm just thinking out of the box that it could be, it could be. Let me tell you that they say sometimes not knowing something is better. Sometimes the less you know, the better. There are a lot of things that are much deeper and if you were to know, you wouldn't handle the truth. Haven't you heard? You want the truth, you can't handle the truth. Sometimes some things are better left unsaid. Let me tell you, there's too much anger towards you. And it's so funny enough that some of these angers, you won't even get where they're coming from, but they are too strong. More stronger than those that you have directly or intentionally stepped on their toes. There is so much anger towards you more than you can think. Sometimes you can be shocked. Myself, at some point, I was at a point where I had somebody close to me, you know. I would never have suspected out of everybody speaking ill of me. And the words or the things being spoken, what was more painful was the words, things spoken were much deeper than I could have imagined. Allow me to tell you something. It is so unbelievable. The things that people say behind your back, they will shock you. I usually like saying, at some point in life, we all bad mouth those closest to us. In fact, those that we even claim that we love. Sometimes when you are in disagreement, sometimes when you they've made you angry for a moment, it is easy now to tell the closest person you can share with, you can, uh, what is this? Sometimes get it off your chest with, off your chest with, those people, it is easy to now say some nasty way that if that person was to hear, they wouldn't believe. That is why I came to a point where I'm like, you know what? I am okay. I do expect and I do believe that there is no way that even my own best friend at some point does not say some nasty things that if I was to hear, I would be angry. I, I say things like this. There is no way you can live a life without being gossiped. If you can pre... Or you can already ahead of time prepare that obviously there is something nasty they might have said but i don't care you will be happy even if someone is to come out of the blue and just tell you this person was saying this about you let me tell you you won't be shocked they were speaking negative against jesus they spoke things that are oh, some they said he was a demon some said he's a liar he deceived people different opinions were given but he never cared for none. He never went out there and said, Oh, they are bit mugging me. Oh, I will curse you in the name. Ah, no, 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 no. But allow me to tell you, if that's the case, how much more? How much more those that are being negative against you? That, that, the, those that are angry towards you. And let me tell you, they are angry. Let me tell you, if they are to see your downfall, they will rejoice. And even the way they rejoice, you won't even believe. Even those that you think they're in support of you, if you were to hear what they are saying, you will never love every, anybody in this world. Hence, I get to understand why God Almighty, from the very beginning, he made it a point that we can't hear things which are not close. Or else, we were to hear, nobody would have a friend. We will all not love each other. At one point or another, at the longer you live, there is something that you will say about somebody. But that's not what I'm here about. As I already said in the beginning of this title or this video, in the title of this video, they are angry at you. It is unspeakable the way they are angry. The things that they are saying, the more you do it, it's like, and the more they can't get hold of you, you are only making them worse. You are only making them worse. It is, oh my God. 
I gave you an example that sometimes I heard something unspeakable. I couldn't believe my ears. How much more when it comes to somebody who does not like you? How much more when it comes to somebody who is intentionally and directly jealous at you? They don't like you. They don't want you. Jesus is described as the most perfect being in the history of this world. He never ever sinned once. But still, he was hated. Still, they wanted to see him dead. Still, they spared on him. Still, they spoke wicked against him. Let me tell you, if a perfect man was still seen as a sinful, as a bad person, how much more with you knowing you are not perfect at all? You are only made righteous through the Lord Jesus Christ. So now, with what I've just said, this will make you realize on how serious this gets. And I don't like it any bit. I hated the fact that they're coming against you. One of the common things that I like saying is this. I'm like, the more in life your graph goes up, God blesses you. You get to see all the possibilities. Which possibilities I'm talking about? Hear me out here. Day by day, I am learning and realizing how deeper it gets. I was, I, I, myself, I make it a point that in each and everything in this world, I learn a lesson. And I got to realize how dangerous and how deeper it gets. That even for your own things, your own possessions, things you bought for yourself, you spent your hard earned cash, somebody, just because you did not give it to them, they can hate you for it. Somebody can swear at you. Somebody can wish death upon you for your own things. How sometimes, some, one day, when I refused to borrow somebody something, they started to speak curses. When I wanted my money back from somebody, it returned with curses. At the right time that I was supposed to get my money back, the person could no longer understand. Let me tell you that people in this world, they can kill you for your own things. They come, they ask for help, you help them. Now, when the deal is that they must do this, if now you can't or you want your things, they can hate you for it. They can bewitch you for it. You... You spend years studying, building a company, a business, and it finally grows and goes and start to move. They hate you for it. They want you dead. You think you are better. That's what they say. The more you make it, the more you, they get angry. The more things go well. No, they say, what about me? No, I can never suffer alone. We'd rather die together. That's what they say. People are wicked. The more they see you glow, the more they see you breathe, the more they see you alive, they hate you. But in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want to assure you, the Lord will not give you to the hand of the enemy. You are greatly and highly protected in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I refuse to see your enemies rejoice over you. You will not fall down, never, but you shall rise up. I speak, I decree, and I declare, and I prophesy your elevation in anything good that you have ever requested from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, your protection is increased. The air Lord will never allow your enemies to touch you for the rest of your life. I decree and I declare, let that protection of the Lord fall upon you right now. As the Lord said, as I was with Moses, I shall be with you. Let the Lord be with you. I come against any wickedness against you. In everyone that wants to see your downfall, it, they will not see it. The Lord is capable of protecting always. The Lord is capable of keeping you safe. And no enemy shall touch you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I say right now, 
receive the favor, the anointing, and the protection of the Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. May you repent from anybody that you were hating towards. I pray. May you have a forgiving heart. May you, the Lord forgive you. May you repent and the Lord forgives you. And now he protects you from anyone that is still hating on you. I pray over your life right now. You shall be go further. You shall be elevated. You shall prosper. You shall break through. Wherever the enemy have said, whatever cases they have said, you will not fall. I decree and I declare you are breaking through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.